Hello everyone. Uh, recently I uploaded a video showing off a tech demo for a AI generated video game. And while I was fairly happy with the result given the amount of effort I put in, uh, there was definitely a lot of things I can improve. So I am working on a version 2 uh, and sort of ironing out a lot of the details and systems used. And as I go along, I wanted to make some videos, one showing progress update on that, but also outlining and showing off some of the techniques that I used. And today I will be showing off my technique for creating characters. And so what are we trying to do? Well, there's three main goals. We want to make a character that fits the general outline. So no clipping of the head or feet, no messed up anatomy. We want an easily removable background and we want as few errors as possible to really have it as reproducible as possible when we're making this automated AI game system. We can't have a human cherry picking these kinds of stuff, so every result needs to be as good as possible. Some examples on the right of good and bad. So we, we want this guy on the left and don't want this person pulled all the way down and their feet clipping. So how do we do that? Well, my first technique that I used, and this is what I used in in my first tech demo, was the simple masking technique. So on the left we have the input image and then the mask, and on the right was an example output of that. And this worked fairly well because it allowed us to maintain this gray background, which was able to be removed fairly easily. Um, and we really let the AI take control in the middle of where the actual person is. I would also use a double run technique. So I would run it through once at a denoising strength of 0.7 with 10 steps, and then a second time with 0.2 and 30 steps. So that same output image from the first run would be fed back in. Sort of you get this coarse idea in the first run, and the second run would sort of crisp up the details. And this would allow you to generate fairly good images uh, in a relatively short amount of time. To remove the background, there's a Python library called rembg for remove background. It apparently works in Python. I didn't get it to work, so I just called it through the command line because that was another option. So you can see the example of how it works. And I'm fairly happy with the results with the both the image and also the removing the background. I thought it came out fairly clean most of the time. There were some problems, however. Uh, it was really difficult to pick a denoising strength. If you went too low, a lot of your results would look very similar to your baseline image. And if you went too high, it would start changing the general shape a lot uh, a lot of the time and too much, and you would start getting these, these bad examples creeping in of things being cropped or not in the right shape. And so I developed this version two, which will be featured in the upcoming game. And the idea was to generate tons and tons of images. I picked a denoising strength of 0.7, so there was a lot of examples of things being cut out. But then I would go through and I would cherry pick my favorite examples. See on the right here are here are the the cherry picked examples that I used. And then I wrote a combination script to combine all the images into one image. The the code on the left. And then that image would be my new source image to use image to image from or technically in painting with the same mask. And this allowed me to kind of get the best of both worlds. There's lots of things for it to grab from, so it was able to create fairly unique and varied examples uh, without needing too high of a denoising strength to where it would start messing up the anatomy a lot of the time. And sort of to show the results, these were 12 uh, non-cherry picked examples. So when I made the slide, I just hit run to make 12 examples and these were the 12 that popped up so you can sort of see these are these are fairly good results uh just from just from running it like this and I'm, I'm fairly happy with where it came from if you're curious about the setup these were my settings used uh for those uh non-cherry picked results we went with a denoising strength of 0.65 and the same one over and then my my generic settings are at the bottom, and this was using the Stable Diffusion 2.1.5.12 checkpoint. Then were the prompts that I that I used. 
Um, if you are interested in this project and want to see more, definitely hit the subscribe and the like button or leave a comment. And thank you for watching.